Here's a look at the new Black Series Galen Erso from Rogue One. Here's Galen Erso from the Black Series line, and this figure is a Target exclusive, and it's releasing alongside the Anton Merrick figure. Both of these figures have been up for pre-order for around a year now, and they originally had arrival dates estimating earlier this year in 2022, but those were removed and delayed. These were only recently updated with new release dates of July 31st, and they've begun popping up in Targets, which is where I got mine. It's a shame that the pre-order experience for both of these figures has been so bad. When they announced these figures, it shouldn't take a year for them to come out, especially since they announced the release date as being way earlier than it actually ended up being. I understand that things happen, especially with the global supply chain issues that are going on, but they still need to be more forward about when these things are going to be coming out. The figure looks decent in the box. I especially like the color that they chose for Rogue One in the Black series. It's a color that I really like and that goes well with the movie. It especially fits the Edu aesthetic that this figure goes with. The art on the side is great. Great. and while seeing Scarif and the Death Star in orbit above is cool, I wish it showed off the research base on Edu. That's where we see Galen Erso in this outfit, so it would have made more sense to see that. The back of the box gives us some text and another look at that artwork that we got on the side. Let's go ahead and get the figure out of the box so we can take a look at it loose. the figure out of the box and I think it looks pretty good. It's one that I've been really excited for ever since it was announced because of how much he stands out in the movie, despite his little amount of screen time. It's great to have a figure of Mads Mikkelsen, an actor that I really like, from Star Wars. And while I was very skeptical of the face sculpt based on the photos, I think it does look a little bit better in person. The glossy finish is still there, although it looks a little worse on camera. It's not a perfect face sculpt, but it's decent. I love the costume design for this outfit in particular. It's very reminiscent of the OT looks in that 70s aesthetic. Although it's simple, the details on it really do work. The belt especially stands out for me as being really striking, and the white kind of light blue top looks great. I do have to say the paint apps are pretty sloppy on that top portion, especially around the edges. That's not something I want to see on these Black Series figures. If anything, the paint apps on these should be even better and more precise than on TVC figures. The only accessory that the figure comes with is the Death Star plans. Despite Galen never interacting with this physical version of the plans, I think it was a nice inclusion. There's not really anything else that you could have given him that worked, so this is pretty good. You can see that the research team symbol is painted on the shoulder, and I think that looks pretty good. Just another detail that stands out and looks nice on the figure. Articulation all around is decent. On these Black Series figures lately, especially the ones from the Rogue One releases, I've had issues with the ankle joints being too loose. This can make it difficult to pose the figures and have them stand up without the feet bending in on themselves. While it's nice to have the main Rogue One characters all get photo reel update releases, it's a shame that they're in a scale that doesn't have vehicle and play sets to go along with them. This movie does such a good job cementing these characters in this story in a world that you love to see, and it's a shame that the scale that has most of the figures from this movie doesn't have any of those. Hopefully we can get more of the Rogue One lineup, everything from more figures to more vehicles and play sets, in TVC. For another look at this figure, other figures, vehicles, and play sets from across the Star Wars lines, be sure to check out the Jedi Collector on Instagram. Link will be in the description.